Asylum is what these migrants from Pakistan are asking for. But their chances of staying in the European Union are slim. In a makeshift camp near the port of Lesbos, they are fearing their deportation. And Ajmar Farooq is hiding from the authorities. For now, the Greek government tolerates these illegal migrants. But for how much longer? Nobody knows. Of your friends who were on the boat? We are afraid because we have no idea they, what they will do with us. We spend lots of money to make this journey to EU, and we have no background, um, not supportive, because we have belong to poor families. All people are they are poor. Ajmal does not come from a war-torn country. That makes it hard for him to justify his need for asylum. But as a political activist, he says Sunni militants threatened to kill him. Three months ago, he left his wife and children. Up to now, he's been safe on the Greek island of Lesbos. But here, he has to deal with challenges that are routine for people in Europe. The everyday laundry is just one example. It is totally different for us, especially for me, because my mom uh, cook food for me and washing cloth for me and earning for me. Now I'm doing all these jobs for myself. And it's difficult. I have no idea how to cook, how to washing cloths and other things. Mostly we, the Pakistan society is main dominant society, you know. Cooking used to be done by a group of international volunteers, but now the evacuation of the camp is underway. The local government is forcing the aid workers to leave just before the holiday season begins. Just where else the migrants could go next is the question on everybody's mind. There is so much uncertainty among the stranded migrants here after all they've had to go through, all the distance they had to overcome. There are some tensions, but that's understandable. Just imagine you think you're welcome, and by the time you arrive, they start deportations. Ajmar is trapped on the island with no idea how to escape. His cousin Zami flew in to help. He has been living in Greece for more than 10 years now, but all he can do is give him money and moral support. It is very difficult because uh, he no have uh, any papers. Uh, uh, no have any paper to uh, make uh, tickets, plane or uh, ships. Everything is uh, without paper. No, it is uh, impossible. On his daily walk into town, Ajmar passes two Turkish passenger boats waiting for the next transfer. Under the deal between the EU and Turkey, Greece has started to deport those migrants that haven't applied for asylum. Ajmar knows he could soon find himself on board as well. There is a darkness, you know. Behind this gate is a darkness for me. Here is a life, here is a peace. Here is a... I can do everything. Well, for freedom, as a religious freedom, if... They will deport me, It is impossible. Hopes for a life in freedom is what sustains many refugees here. But the deportations are increasingly putting them under pressure. These migrants have heard rumors that two people committed suicide after being deported to Turkey. The next boat are set to depart again soon.